Andy Malone, I'm a Microsoft MVP as well as a Microsoft Certified Trainer. On this week's All You Need to Know, we're going to talk about Microsoft 365 Lists. It's a brand new app that was recently introduced into the platform. Now, when first glance, you think, okay, it's a list, not very exciting, but just occasionally you may get a surprise. Let's take a look. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a really cool new feature. Um, this is called Lists. Now, initially you think, yeah, okay, that's not very exciting. Okay, you just create a list of something. Uh, but this comes is a little bit different. So I'm going to create a new list. And here you can see that we actually have some really interesting and useful features. Now, of course, you can create a blank list. You can create a list from within Microsoft Excel, and you can also use an existing list. But what we have here is we have some really nice, useful templates. So um, something that a company uses all the time, to be fair, not at the moment, but um, is, uh, for example, travel requests. So again, this is quite useful. One place where users can go in and they can say, yep, yeah, you know, I want to make a request for travel and it needs authorization. So I'm going to use this template and I'm just going to call this my sales and marketing travel requests. Okay. And you can put in a little description. You can change the color. So I'll go ahead and make this one green. And again, you can also change the icon here as well. Um, because it's travel, I'll just leave it as this. Now, it says, where do you want to save it? I, I can go ahead and I can save it as into straight into my lists. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add this into a Microsoft team. So I have a team called Sales and Marketing. And you can see I want to show it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create this list. Okay, so you can see here at the moment we don't have any requests because this is, a, of course, a brand new list. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click up here back into this. And now this obviously takes me to the website. Um, I can, I, again, go back into the list here. One of the things you want to do here um, is you probably want to share it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to share this list out. And again, I'm going to share this into a team. And if I just show you this, so if I go into my um, Microsoft Teams here, let me just bring this up. So here is my, um, I will just bring up Microsoft Teams, yes. So you can see here that we've got a Microsoft team called Sales and Marketing Team. All right, so I want to make this list available to them in here. So I'm going to go in and again, I'm going to say, right, I want to share this. And I'm going to choose the permission. Um, so I'm going to say, yeah, I'm just going to give them full control. In fact, you could, you might even actually change that. You might say, yes, you can edit. That means you can add content, but you can't delete the actual list. And again, you can say, do you want to notify anybody if any new travel request comes in? So for example, um, you can... Uh, notify them uh, if you want to do that. So again, I'm going to say, yes, I want to grant access to sales. And you can see it's come up, the, the Microsoft team here, it's got an email address. So I'm just going to say, yeah, so everybody in the sales and marketing team, um, you can uh, basically go in and do this request. So that's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and just accept that. And I can close that now. So um, that is now shared. So if I go back into my Microsoft team here, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to come down to the general tab. And uh, again, here you can see I can go ahead and I can uh, add something in here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this to an application. Of course, this is my Microsoft lists. So I'm going to bring in my list here. Um, I'll go ahead and save that. And now that the list is going, it says, okay, what do you want to do? Do you want to create a list or do you want to add content from an existing list, which is what I want to do. And sure enough here, you can see that we've got our sales and marketing uh, travel requests in there. So I can say, yep, okay, that's exactly what I want. 
So I'm going to click onto this tab and you can now see that members of the team can simply come in to this. They can come into their, um, their list here and they can add a new item and I can now put in a travel request. How cool is that? And of course, all the results uh, will then appear in here and you can then obviously export that to a CSV file. So that's a very, very nice feature. As I said, just a nice quick feature that is lists in uh, Microsoft 365. And again, this is now available to you. So there you have it, Microsoft lists in Microsoft 365. Again, a very short episode, but when I saw that, I thought, you know, this is something that you could definitely use, and I hope you enjoyed that. Remember, it's available in all plans of Microsoft 365, and it fully integrates with other Microsoft 365 tools. So, if you've enjoyed this episode, as always, go ahead, click on that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Okay, you stay safe.